Friends, our next topic is Poisson's ratio. So this is the most important topic in the solid mechanics because it gives you tool to get the relationship between various kind of deformations. So let's understand this with the help of an example. Suppose we have got a member having length L, breadth P and height H. And this member is subjected to a tensile load acting along its length. So due to application of this tensile load friends, what is going to happen? The member is going to elongate along its length. If you see at the same time, the height of the member as well as the width of the member is reducing as the length of the member is increasing. So as the member is further elongating, its height and width is reducing as you can see in this diagram. So when we apply a tensile load along its length, the length has been increased but its height and the width has been reduced. So it means there is elongation and there is a reduction in the height as well as the reduction in the breadth of this particular member what we have seen. So it means in the length of this particular member there is a positive strain. Positive strain means there is elongation but in the height of this particular member there is a negative strain as well as there is a negative strain in the breadth of this particular member. Now we will define what is the Poisson's ratio. So Poisson's ratio is nothing but the ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain. Now what is lateral and what is longitudinal? So when I say lateral, so lateral is a direction perpendicular to the direction of load. So we can say direction normal to normal or we can say 90 degree to the direction of load applied. So this is called as lateral direction. Okay. It means we are applying load along the length but height is perpendicular to the length. Okay. So in this particular direction, there is reduction in the height happening taking place. Okay. So this is called as lateral. This direction is lateral. As well as the breadth is perpendicular to the length. So breadth is also lateral direction. So there are two lateral directions here. So one is this direction. This is also lateral direction. And one is this direction friends. This is also lateral direction. So the, if you apply load along the length, so this direction is lateral as well as this direction is lateral. So as far as definition is concerned, the ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain. So there are here we have two lateral strains friends. One is strain in the height. So we can say the strain in the height is a lateral strain as well as strain in the breadth is also lateral strain. Both are the lateral strain because load is applied along the length. So strain developed in the height is also a lateral strain and the strain developed in the breadth is also a lateral. So here we got two lateral strains. One is in the height of the member and another is the, in the breadth of the member. Okay. So it is a ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain. So we have the Poisson's ratio which is the ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain. So here I can write down mu as the strain in the height divided by strain in the length or it can also be written as mu as strain in the breadth divided by strain in the length. Okay. Both are the Poisson's ratio. Okay. So always remember the Poisson's ratio is the ratio of lateral strain to the longitudinal strain. The longitudinal strain is a strain taking place in the direction of the force applied. And the lateral strain is a strain taking place in the direction normal or perpendicular to the direction of load applied. So here this is the direction of load applied friends. So along the height it is a lateral strain. Okay, Along the breadth also is a lateral strain. So that is what I have explained over here. So hopefully it is clear what is the Poisson's ratio. Okay, normally the Poisson's ratio has a definite value. So Poisson's ratio takes values from minus 1 to 0 0.5. Just for information I am writing. So you can have the Poisson's ratio varying from minus 1 to 0 0.5. Okay.